Well, the new U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, that's right, it's Antony, not Anthony, uh, he's revealed his top priority now as the new Secretary of State. And uh, once again, how does this benefit America and American people? We're going to talk about it, guys. Before I go any further, if you enjoy the daily content I put out here and you guys would like to help support my channel and ministry, I recommend you sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you right now all the bonus content. Soon could be all the content, the way things are going now. I'm getting hit with all kinds of warnings. So who knows how much longer I could be here. If you want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting my content. If I disappear from this platform, I recommend you sign up. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, uh, Blinken said this in a statement that, look, <laughs> he got to his confirmation hearing and his top priority as Secretary of State is going to be to promote the LGBT agenda because why not, right? I mean, forget the fact that you're going to be out there meeting with all the world leaders, you know, we need somebody tough. We need somebody who's going to represent America and show that we have strong leadership, but he's going to be going around with the rainbow flags everywhere. I mean, what are people going to think of him? No, I I really miss Mike Mike Pompeo. I really do. I thought he was a great Secretary of State. I believe the guy was tough. He was strong. Uh, this was a a Christian man. I mean, somebody who just you know he loved America. He loved Israel. Everything that he did, he was tough on countries like China and so many others. And now we have Blinken, and he said this in his confirmation hearing that. His plan is to go and fly the LGBT flag at all of the U.S. embassies. Great. And also to create a special envoy for human rights for LGBT people. These are the things that are his top priorities as a Secretary of State. And again, I said this at the top. What does this do to benefit the lives of the American people? Absolutely nothing. Much like the executive orders that Biden has signed so far. What has that done to help the lives of the American people? Absolutely nothing. Biden has already cut jobs. He's crippling our economy on a daily basis and showing that he is anything but a unifier. And funny enough how I didn't hear uh, Mr. Blinken talking about uh, Christians. No, no, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear religious liberty as a top priority for his new position. No, 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 none of that at all. Even though we heard all this talk in the beginning before Biden's inauguration that where he was going to be seeking after the heart of God. This was a strong man of faith. Yet nothing has really come out about religious liberty. Do you find that a little funny? And being that LGBT, you know, uh, is, is the top of Mr. Blinken's list as Secretary of State, well, that goes right along with that Equality Act, which LGBT Equality Act that Biden has vowed to make law within the first 100 days of his presidency. And I talked about that a lot last year, how that is going to become now the number one uh, protected rights. Religious liberty is going to go way down, people. I said it. You're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to dismiss anybody from, you know, getting a job in ministry if they want to be a pastor in your church, if they won't hold any title, if it doesn't matter, if they oppose what the Bible says, you will not be able to do anything about it. You could risk being sued. You could go to jail over it. This is what's coming. Religious liberty, ha <laughs> ha, unifier, ha, <laughs> hardly. This is the administration that is now in place, one that directly opposes God. Even though they claim to be all about God, they're liars, they're deceivers, and we need to expose it for what it really is. Let me know your thoughts here on the new Secretary of State down below in the comment section. Guys, I'll put some more information for you in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.